Good evening. Good evening, Father. So today is the first Sunday of Advent, and we know that in the liturgical calendar, today is New Year. New Year. According to our faith, usually our New Year is 1st of Jan January, but in the spiritual side, it is the first, day, uh, the first day of Advent. So today, we light also the first, or we lit the first candle, because this every candle represents uh, each week. So as long as we progress in our celebration of the Advent, we light the candles also. Okay? But the important thing is this. Regarding the gospel for today, he said, watch. Be watchful and be alert. Oftentimes we, sometimes they say, oh, it's okay. Because we are, we are always ready. But the question is, are we really ready for the coming of the Messiah? According to St. Bernard of Clairvaux, there are three comings of Jesus. In the slides, in the, in the introduction, we see the two comings. But actually, there are three comings of Jesus. So, I would, I would like to repeat the first two. What is the first two? He said, Jesus came during Christmas Day. So, He came historically. Here. And the second one is the second coming. Coming with glory. But what is the third coming? So it's happened already, the first coming. And the second coming is ready to come. So we're waiting for that. But there are third coming in which sometimes we take for granted. There are three come, there are the third coming of Jesus. What is that? He comes in mystery. What is that? Jesus comes in mystery, meaning Jesus came to us every day in our life. Do you remember the past readings? What you do to the least of these brothers of mine, you do it to me. See, that is the daily, comings of, the daily coming of Jesus. Sometimes we are puzzled. Sometimes we are not ready to welcome Him. That's why the gospel for today is inviting us to be watchful. See, the coming of Jesus daily through people we interact to. And there's another thing that we must be reminded of. This third coming. It's not only about the people we interact to, but another thing. Jesus is coming to us through the sacraments. Pope Leo the Great, once he said, what was visible in Christ has passed on to the sacraments of the church. And that is true. So in Jesus is coming to us every day in our life. And now the question is, how do we watch food? Or how do, how do we prepare ourselves? How to make ourselves ready to welcome Him into our lives? There are two things that I would like to present on to you. First is that when we say watchful, when we say be watchful and be alert, the first thing that we must do is to put ourselves in prayer. This is the very first thing. Why? Because in prayer, this is our constant communication to God. There is no data needed. There is no signal to be used. What things that we do? We only talk to God. 
That's why, if you want to be ready to welcome Him, not only for the second coming and not only every day, but we must be ready. That's why we must pray at all times. That's why St. Paul said, pray unceasingly. Don't stop to pray. As I told you, this prayer is our connection to the Lord. But what is the ultimate prayer? The Eucharist. That's why we gather together every Sunday. And some of you would come here every day. Because they want to connect to God constantly. That's why if you fail to attend the Mass every week, that's a trouble. Sometimes there's a chaos within us. Sometimes we lost focus in our life. That's why it is important that as we watch full for the coming of the Messiah, we must have this constant communication to God. Prayer. The second thing that we must be ready for the coming of the Messiah is not only about prayer, but most importantly, is to do good works. Christmas is coming. When was the last time we do some charity, some good works to other people? Prayer without works is useless. That's why this prayer must be accompanied by good works to be effective. That's why in the Mass, what the priest would say in the Mass, go in peace to love and serve the Lord. We start our contact to God, but we end with charitable acts. That's why being watchful is not only about praying, but also about acting. It's only about the theory, but we must concretize those prayers of ours. As I told you, remember the last readings. That everything that we do, we do it for the Lord. That's why, my dear brothers and sisters, the Lord now is asking us as we have this first Sunday of Advent, we must be watchful and be alert. But how? We must have the constant prayer and the second one. We must act. We must do some charitable works. We must do some good works for the Lord. Amen.